Surat is a city in the Indian state of Gujarat. It used to be a large seaport and is now a centre for diamond cutting and polishing. It is the eighth largest city and ninth largest urban agglomeration in India. It is the administrative capital of the Surat district. The city is located 284 kilometers 176 miles south of the state capital Gandhinagar 265 kilometers 165 miles south of Ahmedabad and 289 kilometers 180 miles north of Mumbai The city center is located on the Tapti River close to Arabian Sea Surat was the world's fourth fastest growing city in 2016 according to a study conducted by the City Mayors Foundation the city registered an annualized GDP growth rate of 11.5% over the seven fiscal years between 2001 and 2008. Surat was awarded, ''Best City'' by the Annual Survey of India's City Systems in 2013. Surat is selected as the first smart IT city in India which is being constituted by the Microsoft CityNext initiative tied up with IT services majors Tata Consultancy Services and Wipro. The city has 2.97 million internet users, about 65% of total population. Surat was selected in 2015 for an IBM Smarter Cities Challenge grant. Surat has been selected as one of 20 Indian cities to be developed as a smart city under PM Narendra Modi's flagship Smart Cities mission. In 2010, Surat was the third, cleanest city of India. According to the Indian Ministry of Urban Development, Surat, famous for its diamond cutting and polishing is known as the Diamond City of India. History Surat is believed to have been founded by a Brahmin named Gopi, who named the area Sarajpur or Suryapur. In the 12th and 15th centuries, Surat was plundered by Muslims. In 1512 and again in 1530, Surat was ravaged by the Portuguese Empire. In 1514, the Portuguese traveller Duarte Barbosa described Surat as an important seaport, frequented by many ships from Malabar and various parts of the world. By 1520, the name of the city had become Surat. In 1573, Surat was conquered by the Mughals. It was the most prosperous port in the Mughal Empire. Despite being a rich city, Surat looked like a typical grubby traders town with mud and bamboo tenements and crooked streets although along the riverfront there were a few mansions and warehouses belonging to local merchant princes and the establishments of turkish armenian english french and dutch traders there were also hospitals for cows horses flies and insects run by religious jains which puzzled travelers some streets were narrow while others were of sufficient width in the evening, especially near the bazaar marketplace, the streets became crowded with people and merchants including banyan merchants selling their goods. Surat was a populous city during the Mughal era but also had a large transient population. During the monsoon season, when ships could come and go from the ports without danger, the city's population would swell. In 1612, England established its first Indian trading factory in Surat. The city was sacked twice by the Maratha king Shivaji, with the first sacking occurring in 1664. Shivaji's raids scared trade away and caused ruin to the city. Later, Surat became the Emporium of India, exporting gold and cloth. Its major industries were shipbuilding and textile manufacture. The coast of the Tapti River, from Athwalines to Duma, was specially meant for shipbuilders, who were usually Rassis. The city continued to be prosperous until the rise of Bombay. Present -day Mumbai. Afterwards, Surat's shipbuilding industry declined and Surat itself gradually declined throughout the 18th century. Between 1790-1, an epidemic killed 100,000 Gujaratis in Surat. The British and Dutch both claimed control of the city, but in 1800, the British took control of Surat. By the middle of the 19th century, Surat had become a stagnant city with about 80,000 inhabitants. When India's railways opened, the city started becoming prosperous again. Silks, cottons, brocades, and objects of gold and silver from Surat became famous and the ancient art of manufacturing fine muslin was revived. Geography Surat is a port city situated on the banks of the Tapi River. Damming of the Tapi caused the original port facilities to close. The nearest port is now in the Magadala and Hazira area of Surat metropolitan region. 
The city is located at 21 degrees 10 and 72 degrees 50 e. It has an average elevation of 13 meters. The Surat district is surrounded by the Baruch, Narmada, Navsari, to the west is the Gulf of Cambay and the surrounding districts. The climate is tropical and monsoon rainfall is abundant about 2,500 mm a year. According to the Bureau of Indian Standards, the town falls under seismic zone 3, in a scale of I to V in order of increasing vulnerability to earthquakes. Climate Surat has a tropical savanna climate moderated strongly by the sea to the Gulf of Cambay. The summer begins in early March and lasts until June. April and May are the hottest months, the average maximum temperature being 37 degrees Celsius degrees Fahrenheit. Monsoon begins in late June and the city receives about 1,200 mm of rain by the end of September, with the average maximum being 32 degrees Celsius degrees Fahrenheit during those months. October and November see the retreat of the monsoon and a return of high temperatures until late November. Winter starts in December and ends in late February, with average mean temperatures of around 23 degrees Celsius 73 degrees Fahrenheit, and negligible rain. Since the 20th century, Surat has experienced some 20 floods. In 1968, most parts of the city were flooded and in 1994 a flood caused a country-wide plague outbreak, Surat being the epicenter. In 1998, 30% of Surat had gone under water due to flooding in Tapti River following release of water from Ukai Dam located 90 km from Surat and in August, 2006 more than 95% of the city was under Tapti River waters, killing more than 120 people, stranding tens of thousands in their homes without food or electricity and closing businesses and schools for weeks. Economy Surat ranked 10th in India with a GDP of 2.60 lakh crore in fiscal year 2016 $14 billion in 2010. Surat GDP in 2020 will be around $57 billion estimated by the City Mayors Foundation, an international think tank on urban affairs 3. Diamond polishing. Surat is a major hub of diamond cutting and polishing. The first diamond workshops in Gujarat appeared in Surat and Navasari in the late 1950s. The major group working in this industry is people from the Saurashtra region of Gujarat. Because of demand in the American market from the early 1970s to the mid-1980s with only a brief recession in 1979, Surat's diamond industry grew tremendously. Currently most of the diamond polishing workshops are running in the Varacha area of Surat, mostly by the people of the Patel community. Around the world, 8 out of 10 diamonds on the market were cut and polished in Surat. This industry earns India about US$10 billion United States dollars in annual exports. A legacy of old Dutch trade links, it began after a Surti entrepreneur returned from East Africa bringing diamond cutters. The rough diamonds themselves, however, come to Surat as rough crystals ripped out mainly from deep under the earth of South Africa and other regions of the continent, and go from here as smooth gems to Antwerp, Belgium where the international diamond trade is run mainly by Hasidic Jews and Jains from Palanpur in North Gujarat. Textiles <inaudible> 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 Since it is known for producing textiles, including silk, Surat is known as the textile hub of the nation or the silk city of India. It is very famous for its cotton mills and Surat Zari craft. Surat is the biggest center of MMF fiber in India. It has a total of 381 dyeing and printing mills and 41,100 powerloom units. There are over a hundred thousand units and mills in total. The overall annual turnover is around 5 billion rupees. There are over 800 cloth wholesalers in Surat. It is the largest manufacturer of clothes in India, and Surti dress material can be found in any state of India. Surat produces 9 million meters of fabric annually, which accounts for 60% of the total polyester cloth production in India. Now the city is focusing on increasing the exports of its textile. Topic: Information technology. 
There are many SME domestic IT companies present in Surat. MNC IT companies like IBM, HCL have satellite or virtual branches in Surat. On 14 February 2014 GOVT of Gujarat DST had handover STPI Surat at Bastan JIAV Road, Bastan near Udana Sachin BRTS route. Surat City Administration will demand for setting up of an Information Technology IT hub and an Indian Institute of Information Technology IIIT on the outskirts of the city. Microsoft CityNext initiative has tied up with IT services majors Tata Consultancy Services and Wipro to leverage technology for sustainable growth of cities in India. The first smart IT city in India is being constituted by the Microsoft CityNext initiative in Surat, Gujarat. In 2011 Surat hosted India's first Microsoft DreamSpark Yatra a tech event with speakers from Microsoft headquarters at Redmond, Washington. The event was organized by ex-Microsoft student partner Samarth Zankaria. In May, 2015 tech giant IBM has chosen Surat among 16 global locations for its Smart Cities program to help them address challenges like waste management, disaster management and citizen services. Under the program, IBM will send a team of experts to each of the chosen cities where they will spend three weeks working closely with city staff analyzing data about critical issues faced by its local bodies. The cooperation continued into 2016. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Diamond Research and Mercantile City Dream. The government of Gujarat plans another project near Surat similar to Gujarat International Finance Tech City GIFT. The chief minister has suggested that the government wishes to develop Dream to have a 5-7 star hotel, bank, it, corporate trading house, entertainment zone and other facilities while the Surat Diamond Bourse SBD will be based there. Allotment of Kajad land for the project is convenient for the state government because they have 2,000 acres 810 hectares of available land. The trade center, located near Sarsana village, will have a 100,160 square meter (1,078,100 square feet) pillar-less air-conditioned hall with a 90 by 35 meter (295 by 115 feet) pillar-less dome. Topic: <laughs> Transport. Built in 1860, Surat Railway Station falls under the administrative control of Western Railway Zone of the Indian Railways. In early 2016, the Indian Railway Catering and Tourism Corporation rated the facility the best large station in India based on cleanliness. The CityLink or Surat BRTS is a bus rapid transit system in the city. It is operated by Surat Municipal Corporation and as of August 2017, had a network of 245 buses connecting major localities. Surat International Airport located in Magdala, 11 kilometers 7 miles southwest of Surat. It is the second busiest airport in Gujarat in terms of both aircraft movements and passenger traffic. Currently airlines such as Air India, Alliance Air, AirAsia India, SpiceJet, Indigo Airlines, Air Odisha, Ventura AirConnect provide flight services from the Surat to various major cities like New Delhi, Mumbai, Kolkata, Chennai, Bengaluru, Hyderabad, Goa, Jaipur. Air India Express is set to begin international flight on Surat Sharjah route very soon. Apart from main city, Surat Airport also caters to various localities of South Gujarat including Navsari, Berdala, Valsad, Baruch, Ankleshwar. Surat Metro is a proposed rapid transit rail system for the city. <laughs> <laughs> Civic institutions The Surat Municipal Corporation is responsible for the maintaining city's civic infrastructure as well as carrying out associated administrative duties. At present, BJP is the ruling party with a majority. Under the provisions of Bombay Provincial Municipal Corporations Act, 1949, Section 4, the powers have been vested in three distinct statutory authorities, the General Board, the Standing Committee, and the Municipal Commissioner. It ranked 7 out of 21 cities for best administrative practices in India in 2014. It scored 3.5 on 10 compared to the national average of 3.3. It is the only city in India to disclose municipal budgets on a weekly basis. Topic: 
Topic: Science Center. Science Center, Surat is a multi-facility complex built by the Surat Municipal Corporation in 2009, the first of its type in western India. The complex houses a science center, museum, an art gallery, an auditorium, an amphitheater and a planetarium. Pandit Dindale Upadhyay Indoor Stadium With a seating capacity of 6,800, Pandit Dindale Upadhyay Indoor Stadium is the first of its kind in the western region of India. The stadium frequently organizes national and international indoor games such as volleyball, table tennis, gymnastics, handball, boxing, wrestling, badminton, basketball, and tennis. It has a central arena of size 63 meters by 33 meters, rooms for participants and team officials, and other essential facilities including snack bars. This is also a convenient venue for organizing cultural programs, music concerts, drama, fashion shows, seminars, and conferences and many more. The indoor stadium also hosted TEDxRIT 2018 on October 7, 2018 which is the largest TEDx conference of Gujarat and one of the largest TEDx conference of the world. Laobai Contractor Cricket Stadium Laobai Contractor Cricket Stadium has a capacity of more than 7,000 and hosted several Ranji, Irani and Duleep Trophy matches. The stadium also serves as a primary destination for local budding cricketers and enthusiasts. The stadium has hosted several benefit matches for international cricketers as well. <laughs> Public safety Surat began the Safe City project in 2011 aimed at keeping the city safe using surveillance cameras. The project was headed by Sanjay Srivastava IPS, who was then the Joint Commissioner of Surat Police. The 280-square-foot video wall, claimed to be the largest surveillance screen in the country, is being installed at the control room of Police Commissioner Mr. Rakesh Asthana IPS. This will help the police view the entire city live through 10,000 CCTV cameras across the city. Surat police have decided to install 5,000 CCTV cameras at sensitive points across the city. While 1,000 cameras will be night vision cameras, 4,000 others will be simple CCTV cameras. This has been installed on PPP base with the help of the city's businessmen, city's social persons, Surat Municipal Corporation and Surat City Police. Demographics. According to the 2011 India Census, the population of Surat is 4,462,002. Surat has an average literacy rate of 89%, higher than the national average of 79.5%, male literacy is 93%, and female literacy is 84%. Males constitute 53% of the population and females 47%. In Surat, 13% of the population is under 6 years of age. Education Universities Sardar Vallabhbhai National Institute of Technology, Surat is one of 31 national institutes of technology that are recognized as institutes of national importance by the Government of India. Most of the regional colleges are affiliated to Veer Narmad South Gujarat University VNSGU, named after the poet Veer Narmad, which has headquarters in the Surat metropolitan region. Colleges are also affiliated to SNDT, Gujarat Technological University and other universities. Oro University has also started to provide education in Surat. Indian Institute of Information Technology, Surat started in 2017. Topic. People Henry Frederick Barnes Lawrence 1815 Anglican clergyman, and founder of the Association for the Protection of Sea Birds Ismail Darbar, Bollywood composer Harmeet Desai, table tennis player 
Freddie Daruwala, Bollywood actor Prachi Desai, actress Sanjeev Kumar, actual name Haribai Jarawala, film actor Maurice, 20th century Gujarati poet, popular for his ghazals Kiran Sin Chohan, Gujarati poet and scriptwriter Dwanal Parekh, 20th century Gujarati poet Narmad, Gujarati poet, playwright, essayist, orator, lexicographer and reformer under the British Raj Hardik Pandya, Indian international cricketer Hendrik van Reed 1636-1691, Dutch botanist and colonial administrator. Died of the coast of Mumbai and was buried at the Dutch cemetery in Surat. Gunvant Shah, educationist and columnist Bhagwati Kumar Sharma, author and journalist Farooq Sheikh, actor and television presenter Ratan Tata, owner of Tata Group Virji Vora, businessman known as Merchant Prince during Mughal era <laughs> See also